China, the gateway to East Asia, is a fascinating country. It is an ancient civilization that gave the world Peking man, gunpowder, and noodles. Visitors making their first trip to China usually stick to the larger cities. More experienced visitors to the Middle Kingdom will strike out in other directions, where traveling may be a bit more frustrating because of the language barrier, but most definitely doable for independent travelers. Here's a look at the best places to visit in China. Number 10. Kunming Kunming is the economic, transportation, industrial, and cultural center of southwest China. It is linked by rail from all of China's major cities, as well as with Vietnam. The mild climate makes it a good place to visit any time of the year. Largely because of the fine climate, flower growing is a major industry, and tourists can visit flower exhibits and auctions and a huge botanical garden. In addition to its own charms, Kunming serves as a base from which to explore the rainbow of ethnic minority in the area. Number 9. Chu Chai Go. Chu Chai Go Valley has been described as a fairyland because of its many waterfalls. Number 8. Hangzhou Famed for its natural scenery, Hangzhou and its West Lake have been immortalized by countless poets and artists. In the 13th century, Marco Polo described the city as the most beautiful and magnificent in the world. Hangzhou's most famous site, West Lake, is a large lake separated by causeways and lined with ancient buildings and gardens designed for relaxation and spirituality. Visitors will find pagodas, temples, walking paths, and tea farms along its shores. Number 7. Yangshuo Yangshuo in South China was once a magnet for backpackers because of its cheap prices and laid-back atmosphere, but today it draws all sorts of travelers to enjoy its beautiful scenery and karst mountains. Yangshuo also makes a good base to take a day trip to Guilin for a leisurely trip on the Li River. Many travelers choose to rent bicycles for the trip back since the route is relatively flat and gives them the opportunity to view farmers toiling in their fields.
center, where Chinese culture, British colonial